Hi guys, Wolfie here. I'm just up in the woods doing some shooting with my son and uh, having done some basic instruction with him I thought I'd uh, sort of share my thoughts really. Um, the one thing that I personally feel, and this is only my opinion, is, is paramount in any shot, um, whatever style you're shooting, is having a solid and consistent shooting frame. Uh, from that point, um, consistent release and follow through. I've had people come here that uh, have been shooting for three, four months and still haven't got their bow arm position correct. They've got their arm in this line, their elbow aiming downwards. Um, they're putting their forearm in jeopardy and also as they're shooting their stringers, catching the forearm and throwing the shot straight off. Uh, they've not been shown properly how to, to draw the, the bow to anchor and to release and follow through. Um, with minor instruction, everything comes together far, far um, quicker than they've, uh, they've done in, in the matter of months that they've been shooting. Um, what, what I think is important, first off, is, is your shoulders. You have to have your shoulders square and drawn together. Um, the muscles on your I'd say arrow arm or drawing arm shoulder are the ones in the main that are doing the work through the release. The other arm the shoulder has to be square and set to provide a firm support. So in, in this instance, for people to try and find the position of the shoulders, I would say if you put your hands flat, your arms out, level, and straight in line with your body, and your shoulders draw together. Your bow arm is already elbow out. All you need to do is turn your wrist. You don't grip the bow, you support it in the pad of your hand. That is in the pad of your hand, supported. If you grip it, you can push it um, or twist it or torque it on release. So if you've got your, your arm out with your elbow in the right direction, the bow supported in the pad of your hand, that is your bow arm sorted. It is not up to your chin, it's not struggling, it is set literally as my arms would be here. This arm is to draw that back. My shoulder is trying to return to the position that I had it there. I'm not drawing with my um, forearm. I'm not drawing with my arm itself or specifically the forward part muscles of my shoulder. I'm using the muscles through the back of my shoulder. So literally the whole mechanism is straight through around the back to this arm. So what I'll do with this The bow arm is out, it's pointed at the target, my feet are facing at 90 degrees to the target. So the target's there, my feet are facing this way, about the width of my shoulders apart. I will draw the bow to anchor. I particularly use a second finger to the side of the mouth. Focus on the target, and as I release, I will allow my shoulder, drawing with my shoulder, close in and it draws my hand back in line with what was the bow, the arrow, and gives it a clean directional release. It doesn't pop out. If I'm drawing short and I have to release, my arm can't go back. Not in that direction. It has to go out. From here, it just directly goes back. So there's no interference with the shot. So if I had to demonstrate that, I've got my arm out, the bow is held forward, I draw back to my anchor, so my elbow and my arm is in line with the arrow and as I release, follow through. I faltered then because I was thinking too much. But I'll do that again. Simple process, you bow arm out. Again, elbow is facing behind me. Draw to anchor. This arm is in line with the arrow as I release drawn back. Simple process. I'm not pinging the string, which makes the bow noisy, and everybody struggles with a noisy bow if they're pinging the string. And they're constantly looking for that sweet spot which they won't find, because they've got a noisy bow. In essence, it's just, you're playing a bass tone, just making a noise in your string. So I'll do that one more time. Again, I'm using the shoulder muscles to draw through the shot. So I'm square to the target, Drawn to anchor, release, 
a follow through. Simple process. That is it. That is the foundation for shooting. Everything else, whether you do lean forward, it's still the same position. You can count the bow, still the same position. That's just an alteration in your wrist, but you have to, in essence, lean over slightly, otherwise you're twisting the string, unless you angle your fingers. Counting the bow, if you've got a short window, gives you a view past the bow. Or some flat bows have got a very shallow, so you need to see past the bow for, um, for your shot. But it is a very, very simple process. Purely and simply, your bow arm braced at the target, you draw to your anchor, focus, release and follow through. That's the main mechanisms of it. If you're compressed, squashed, no good. You can, you can lean forward and you can draw your shot forward. If you're compressed and forward, you haven't got a clean position to release to. That's, that's my um, personal way of doing it. There are many people with different techniques. There are many people who've got techniques that they've, they've utilized for years and years. And because they've done so, it becomes a consistent foundation for them and they can still be very accurate. But I think as a beginner, you should start somewhere with a solid frame. You're literally working through your arm, through your shoulders. This elbow drawing back for the release, not the arm. You're not working the shot with your arm, you're working it through your back. So the elbow is drawn back. Follow through. Find a second point for your hand to go to. So as you've gone, you can rest it. And that's it. it it's somewhat not so easy to grasp when you start, but I think if you can work on that, then everything else should come together. It doesn't happen overnight. It really, really, really doesn't happen overnight. And there's no magic cure watching endless amounts of videos and thinking that someone's going to show you a technique that's going to answer everything for you. You've got to put arrows through that bow. The more arrows you put through the bow, um, over a period of time, not in one go, not sort of 20 arrows, 20 arrows, 20 arrows, until you knackered your shoulders and your muscles and you've worn yourself out. But consistent practice, even if it's one hour at a time, two or three hours at a time, making sure every shot is considered and every shot is worked in the same fashion. If you give yourself a pattern to think about, you could, you could even just sort of simply arm, hook, anchor, shoulders, you've got to have to maintain the shoulder pressure, release and follow through. Don't drop that bow arm. The arm may drop naturally because you're drawing slightly at an angle, but once it goes, the tension is, but don't go, I've made that shot, bang, I've shot it, because you're upsetting the shot before the, the arrow has actually gone from the bow. Um, it's that it's that quick a thing that will subset it but keep your bow on target draw it back and follow through follow that process and in my mind you're on the right road hope that helps see you again